We have a MacBook Air A1466. The previous technician who was working on this device ran it through ultrasonic cleaner. It originally had many signs of water damage, uh, but it's still not turning on. So it got brought here for uh, further diagnostics. Uh, we can see kind of residue from the original water damage. What we're gonna have to do next here is uh, we'll just hook it up to power. So we do get a light on MagSafe, um, but no fan spin. And when we hooked it up to our DC power supply, we were getting around 30 milliamps. So the next thing we'll do is take a look under the microscope and do a visual inspection of the board. All right, here we go. We'll start on this section, just kind of, so we can definitely see that there was water damage. Um, could see the residue. Jake tag connector. Some of the pins look burnt, but it looks okay. You can see some corrosion there. All right, flip to the other side of the board. Take a look at SMC. You can see a little bit of corrosion, uh, but nothing too serious. So right here, we actually see uh, burnt, uh, some burnt traces. So it looks like we have this trace here is completely gone. So with our multimeter, take a couple quick measurements. So this trace looks like it's completely gone. I'm trying to measure on both sides of this resistor. So open line on this side, open line here good connection here so what that tells me is we have a break in the connection here so we've open line here I'm just going to check where this line goes switch back to the display screen so I'm going to check continuity um, between C7316 and R7202 and see if we've lost that connection and we have indeed lost connection because this trace is broken. All right, so we have to run a few jumpers and then we're going to take new measurements and make sure we've restored continuity on those lines. So we run our jumpers, take some measurements, and make sure that continuity has been restored on these lines. We'll start uh, here. We have a good reading here. Good reading there. Good reading there. Everything looks good. So we switch to the display screen. So right here uh, at this test pad, it was completely gone. So we lost continuity from pin 17 to pin one on C7202. We restored that line and we also lost continuity from 
pin two on R702 to C7316, pin one, we restored that line. So following those repairs, when we plug in MagSafe, we get a light and we get fan spin. So I'm gonna pop this board into the housing and we'll make sure we can get straight to the operating system. connected let's check for Apple logo chime good waiting for that Apple logo. Where is it? There it is. This repair is uh, pretty much complete. We'll run it through some final tests. Um, I'll switch over to the overhead screen and we'll run a recap on what we did here. So based on the notes on this repair, it was previously in somewhere where they ran it through the ultrasonic cleaner, but the machine was still dead. After visual inspection, we found on U7200 that this trace was gone. So we uh, repaired that connection. We also noticed that this connection was gone from R7202 to C7316. We restored that connection. And once that was done, the machine was getting uh, power and turning on normally, and the repair is complete. So that uh, completes the repair on this uh, MacBook. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.